In this lesson, we'll learn about the save bodies functionality. In most cases, you won't want to combine save bodies with the technique we showed before, which was using the create assemblies functionality from the right mouse button menu of the split command. This is just an additional way that you can accomplish pretty much the same thing. After you have used split, or in any case where you have multiple bodies within a single part that you want to save into separate files, you can roll to the top of the Feature Manager, right-click on the Solid Bodies folder, and say Save Bodies. Save Bodies is really just the second half of the Split Feature Property Manager. If you look at this, you notice that it looks exactly like the bottom part of the Split Property Manager. It has the template settings, the ability to create an assembly, and the ability to assign names. The only functionality that this doesn't have is the ability to split a single body into multiple bodies. So you can achieve the same thing with the Save Bodies tool. Notice that it also has the same symbol as the split feature. So let's go ahead and just make a second set of parts. I'll take the Property Manager and dock it back into the Feature Manager area so we have more graphics area to look at. We'll go around and name these files, double click, and I'll call this one. Mouse bottom one. I'll call this mouse main body one. And sometimes SolidWorks puts the callouts right on the border so it's hard to see which part is which. And so in this case, we'll just use this area. And when you're all complete, you can put together an assembly. We'll call this Mouse Assembly 1. And that completes all of the saving out and putting back together in a single feature. And notice that the feature it leaves at the bottom of the tree says Save Bodies, but it looks a lot like the split feature. Now it's important that the feature that saves the bodies is actually a history-based feature that resides in the tree. So if there are changes that happen to the model and the feature tree is rolled back in such a way that the split feature or the save bodies feature is never rebuilt, then the changes will not propagate out to the external parts. This is important to remember. Also, if the Save Bodies feature happens to get suppressed somehow, that could also impede changes from propagating out to the individual parts. The two methods we have just looked at, the Split feature and the Save Bodies feature, are what we call push master model techniques because they push the data out from the parent document. The master model is the parent document. It's where everything originates, and it's where all the change will be created as well. So split pushes the data out to the children files, and save bodies also pushes the data out. The next two features that we will look at as master model techniques are called insert part and insert into new part. And these are techniques that I call pull techniques because they pull the data from the parent part into the child document. And that's an important distinction when you're trying to understand how changes propagate from one document to another.